Hey everyone, this is Dewey, and I'm out uh, barnstorming in the local area. I'm back at the uh, Military Toy Store. I did this uh, on Facebook Live a few weeks ago. But Isaiah Jones and his wife Jennifer, they have moved their storefront. So uh, this is uh, MTS uh, Toys and Hobbies, home of the Military Toy Store. And uh, I've known Isaiah for many years. And he's owned a really cool hobby shop, die cast, um, plastic models, RC um, hobby shop here in Beaver Creek, Ohio. And uh, I'm going to take you guys inside. So uh, they just moved. They haven't even set up everything. But uh, this is kind of fun and trying this out on uh, YouTube Live. It's too cold to barnstorm, hop rides in a biplane, so uh, why not go out and visit everybody and kind of barnstorm the local area and wherever I'm traveling. So here we go. I'm going to switch the camera around, show you guys what it looks like. I believe this storefront's about 3,000 square feet. It's almost three times bigger than uh, what they've had before. Got cool uh, pictures already in the window. So let's go in here and take a look. So, when do you get your Next week, hopefully. so they're all setting up right now. Looks like they're putting up some security cameras. Looks like uh, there's Isaiah there. <laughs> Isaiah, you want to tell me a little bit about this if you have a minute? Yeah. So tell me about what the store is and I guess how big Where it, we are now. Yeah. Well, we're going, we were at 950 square feet and now we've gone to over 3,000. I think it's like about 31 or 3,200. And so uh, we're kind of still in the middle of, uh, you know, construction and, and moving stuff around and setting up shelving, but uh, we're getting close. So this is the this is kind of be the, the big room. We got the display cases. We got our, our shelving. This is going to be kind of more kids model kits. So this is all the uh, more for the younger crowd here. A little bit. It's kind of a mix, but so that's our Kobe from Poland. Great stuff. Look at these uh, cool. This it's like a, almost like a Lego it set, is. isn't it? It's a hundred percent compatible with Lego, but man, they are so cool because they they're all historical. Uh, you know historically researched so they do try to make them as close as, as they can be uh, to the real deal um, but they do airplanes they do tanks jeeps all that okay well they're cool got all of our uh yeah, everything's kind of a disaster but easy build kits our model kits we just bought a over 2,000 piece model kit collection and uh, for any of those model guys uh, we are going to have a lot of rare kits in here a lot of airplanes a lot of ships a lot of tanks. Uh, that's actually some of it up here. We got a lot of the really old, hard to find big ones. Up there. Some ships. All oh, the Titanic. It didn't sink. Yeah, there it is. Huh. Tanks. Look at all this stuff. And this Man. is just a taste. This is like this is like two percent of what we have. Really? Yeah, it's insane. So how long have you been in business? Uh, this is the fifteenth year. Isaiah has been. 16 years uh, in this hobby business with uh, a lot of die cast and uh, we're going to go over to that area right now but you guys can see here there's tons of airplanes uh, yeah we got the desktop airliners and then you here's some star wars star wars statues you know got we do a lot of the higher end movie prop and statue replicas from this Hot goes Toys and all that definitely a shout out to drew he's a big star track -y. oh is he uh, hey, oh yeah well we do a bunch of star track we just there's a new there's a line of die cast star track that's real popular wow Actually, we just got something really cool in from star track it's always my favorite where did it go see if i can find it he might get a kick out of it some old oh, gi yeah, right joe here. this is classic Romulan bird of prey, love that. It's the one with the feathers on the bottom. Classic. So what is it? The Romulan bird of prey. Okay. That's cool. That just came out. So yeah, we got that stuff. We got RC tanks. That seems to be a big thing these days. 
So there'll be two more pieces shelving right here, and then we're going to put up our RC simulator TV so kids can come and play the RC simulator display cases. I want to show you guys how big this F-14 is. Here's my hand, but uh, this thing is, I don't know, it's probably about 30, 35 inches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Man, that's cool. Can I get underneath here? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that thing's awesome with the engine <laughs> open up. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the die cast room. This is all the uh, collectible stuff. So, so this is together. It's all his die cast uh, models. Airliners, we do a bunch of die cast airliners, one four hundred, one two hundred. All Corgi, you know, Hobby Master, ton of Hobby Master. This yeah. is kind of cool. That's our uh, Hell, uh, Hell Diver canopy. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Those were made up in Columbus during World War II. Yeah. And uh, somehow somebody got one. We found it at a show. And I mean, it's been great condition. So, what uh, what aircraft was it? Do you the know? Hell Diver. Uh, let's see if I have a Is it a one. Dauntless? No, it's the Curtis Hell Diver. Curtis Hell Diver. Yeah, I'm going to go find a model. I'll okay. So you guys can see here, he has a, plenty of selection of die cast. If you've seen the Facebook Live, switch it around. Uh, his other shop was probably the size of just this room, and he had lots of hobby stuff in it. But now he's about three times larger, and uh, pretty cool stuff. He has, It's not organized yet, but... He just moved in, like literally this week. So um, he's trying to get everything all set up. You guys can always come around. I just seen this model here. This goes out to Matt McCurdy. What do you think about that, Matt McCurdy? Matt McCurdy has one of these uh, bulldogs. So uh, <laughs> Matt, if you're seeing this, looky here. You can get one. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I guess. Here's your hell diver. Okay. I'll slide it in front of the hair. Yeah. So there's the hell diver. That's what that canopy's off of. It's oh, actually really? the bat and gunner canopy right there. In the back. Yep. Okay. Wow. A lot of unique stuff. I mean, you guys could probably work a deal out and get that hell diver canopy if you're looking for one. Oh, yeah. It probably wouldn't be that cheap, but, uh, we'll trade it a whole you know, for it. who knows? <laughs> I'm looking for a walk up. No. Oh, yeah. That is one thing he's kind of missing is the antique airplane stuff. We're working on it. You know, I would like to see a travel air or a obviously a new standard. Hard to beat Ace the biplane. Here you go. Here's a Boeing. So he has all the stuff. I mean, if it's not a jet, he has some props. If he doesn't have props, he has some boats. If he doesn't have boats, he has tanks and uh, just all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna have him. Uh, Actually, I'm going to switch it around one more time. Take a look at this. Little tanks or uh, ships. So anyway... Hope you guys are enjoying this. Now when he gets all set up, all this will be full. So anyway, that's pretty much the end of my live broadcast on YouTube. You guys can stay tuned with me and um, get to see me barnstorm around this summer. I'll pretty much do more of a uh, barnstorming uh, series of where I'm going, how I'm getting there, all the different places, me ferrying the airplanes. Even uh, I'll even talk about you know, how I organize and different things like that. But 
you know, since it's, I'm up in Ohio and it's too cold to, to fly, I kind of go around all these different cool uh, hobby shops that we have about four or five in the Dayton area and also some aviation uh, museums and different things like that here in the Dayton area and just kind of share uh, really all the places I kind of travel to. So as I'm flying around the country, you might catch me online and uh, you know, just a couple weeks ago I was in Patterson, New Jersey and I took you to the factory where the new standards were built back in the 20s and the 30s. So uh, hopefully you like it. Hit like in the YouTube, subscribe, uh, catch me on Facebook, uh, Good Folk and Old Time Biplane Rides. And uh, go biplanerides.com. You'll, uh, I'm Dewey Davenport or Mr. Good Folk when I'm at a big air show. And uh, take care. Thanks.